Welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Corvette Ed's Garage. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, we are on episode number nine. This is the second episode that we're just focusing on supercharger, period. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, in this episode, we're going to cover some old news. Uh, unfortunately, I ran into a couple of uh, issues, so the old news is just going to be one episode because I don't really want to clog. Uh, I don't really want to put too much into an episode and have it 30, 40 minutes long. I just want to keep it minimum 15 minutes, uh, 10 minutes if I can. Just showing you what, what we're actually doing. You know, no no BS, no, nothing like that. Just straight supercharger. So, uh, with that being said, uh, let's get on with it right after this. I just wanted to take some time out to, uh, you know, so show gra uh, gratitude for all the subscribers out there that uh, watch this channel. Um, you know, you can watch this channel because you want to see what uh, goes on with a Corvette, or you can watch this channel because you want you're interested in doing a supercharger to another vehicle. Um, you know, or you're watching it because of the tools. Uh, even the uh, the funny clips that I throw in, you could be watching it for that, wondering what's next, you know. Um, or you know, you could be somebody who's uh, into bikes and uh, into Harleys, into sport bikes, you know, or anybody that uh, uh, you know. I mean, even you might have dropped on a channel one time and and, and you, you you found out about my back issues, and you're just trying. You know, want to want to keep keep on that maybe you got back issues if any of this inspires you uh i, I i'm grateful i'm thankful I'm thankful for the audience out there watching the channel um again i, I should be hitting about i'm out 99 subscribers right now and and uh, uh it should be should be out 100 subscribers by the time this video comes out um i don't know uh if it doesn't, if it's not by then, it probably will be after the video comes out. But, uh, you know, for whatever reason that you're watching this channel, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I really appreciate the audience out there. Um, I like to see the audience uh, be a little bit more, uh, you know, hit them comments and ask questions and whatnot, you know. Uh, I know my, my, my videos can't be that good that I go over everything and, you know, uh, uh, in detail, I, I, I'm always missing something, um, even though I know it, but I miss it anyway. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this channel and the contents that goes along with this channel. You know, above subscribing, ring, ringing the bell or clicking on that bell, like the video. That tells me that you're enjoying the contents that I'm providing to you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, and thank you very much for watching Corbett S. Garage. Okay. All right, guys, we're uh, winding down to the end of the episode here. Uh, what I have in my hands is the fan that's going to go on the alternator. Um, the alternator is not going to be in the stock position as it was originally uh, with the supercharger uh, taking its place. The alternator is actually going to be uh, more towards the uh, radiator uh, and flipped around. Okay, well, since it's going to be reversed, we can't use the stock um, fan that's on it, which is unfortunate because it's chrome. Uh, but we'll, we, a pro charger... Uh, provided us with a uh, fan that we can use uh, to switch that out. Unfortunately, the um, 
alternator uh, has a it's a little bit uh, it's an aftermarket alternator and the stud is a little bit thicker not that much thicker but a little bit more and the pro charger is smaller so what I got to do is I got to drill this hole out a little bit uh, uh, wider uh, uh, wide enough for it to fit on that uh, alternator so let's get to it all right so uh, to drill the hole wider I decided to use a uh, step uh, uh, drill bit uh, it's a new one that I just picked up, uh, titanium, so this is the first time I'm actually using this particular step uh, drill bit. So, uh, it, it, it uh, did pretty good. Uh, so, it, in winding the hole, just think of a, uh, turn the ladder upside down, and then as you go in, you, 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 every step gets wider. It's the same type of concept, you know. Um, uh, it's just this one had to go a little bit further than the step that I had but uh, uh, it, well, it didn't take that much to do so as you can see I have uh, a chrome alternator uh, this particular alternator is going to be 160 amp which is uh, way way better than the uh, 100 amp that I, I used to have uh, am I going to need all those amperage yeah yeah uh, here uh, just pausing the film for, or uh, pausing it for a second here you see how the uh, alternator rises in that general area well that created another issue so uh, as far as the widening the hole that was done and uh, uh, no problems there but as you're gonna see here uh, when I put the I mean I'm kind of feeling it right there um, but when I put the uh, pulley on uh, it, it just it just stops the fan altogether so um, that's that's an issue so now uh, I have the second issue to deal with and I'm gonna have to uh, grind down uh, each one of those uh, blades in order for that uh, fan to move freely um, unfortunate but that it, it is what it is this is what happens when you you buy aftermarket product you know it's not always the same as OEM sometimes it is you know you know it all depends on where you buy it from and this is kind of a this is a CS 130 uh, compared to mine it's a smaller one uh, it w it will f it fit OEM style uh, if I put it back OEM uh, the way it was but Unfortunately, uh, 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 it is what it is. So expect to do some type of modification uh, when it comes to buying aftermarket product. Now here, uh, I'm grinding down the uh, blades. I uh, really, I didn't really want to take forever doing something like that uh, because you know you're really not going to see the inside of this fan. So, you know, perfection wasn't uh, necessary uh, in this case. So, grinding it down is quick and easy. It can be sloppy if, if you're not careful on it. You know, I, I, was, I, I ended up, uh, uh, you know, hitting a couple of fan, uh, fan, fan blades uh, next to the one I was grinding. It's all good, though. Like I said, you're not going to see uh, any of this. Uh, once the uh, fan is installed on the alternator so now I, I, I'm going to file down the sides of the size of the side of the blades uh, that I cut uh, and is it necessary not really but with my luck I'll end up cutting my finger on, on one of those blades that I haven't uh, filed down so and uh, and if you know if, if you have to take it apart from so for some other reason later on down the road or somebody else you don't have to worry about cutting yourself on it so uh, it's a safety thing anyway so there you go there like I said it's not perfect but uh, it, it serves uh, function over fashion anyway uh, I use Loctite for the nut uh, 
just to be on the safe side. Uh, Pro Charger says go ahead and stake it, but I find that necessary. Loctite's fine enough. The red I use. Uh, I got a uh, power full enough gun to take that nut off and on anyway. And the uh, color of the fan actually blended in with the uh, rest of the black. I, I ended up liking it. Now, uh, did uh, I compromise the fan blades uh, by doing what I did? Nah, there wasn't enough metal taken off to do that. So, we're all good. Well, there you have it. Uh, that pretty much ends episode number nine. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. I uh, hope you learned something. Um, I'm getting excited each time I uh, start working on this car um, because it's all supercharger now. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is in episode number 10 is we're going to um, uh, work on the fuel uh, system. Uh, I'm going to install the uh, FMU F FMU fuel management unit. Uh, that's going to be on the uh, in the engine bay, and then we're going to install the uh, external fuel pump um, in the back of the vehicle. Hey, I appreciate you watching the uh, episode, and uh, uh, again, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you're learning something. I hope you're enjoying the film or the videos that I produce. And uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, and hit that bell. And, and most of all, if you like the video, hit that like button. Again, that like button tells me that uh, the contents that I'm providing uh, uh, is being enjoyed. So until then, guys, y'all take care. Thank you for watching Corvette Ed's Garage and be safe out there.